Vietnam's decision to unveil the PTH-152 self-propelled howitzer during the 80th Anniversary National Achievements Exhibition in Hanoi has drawn significant international attention. The system, built by Vietel Military Industry and Telecoms Group, reflects an important step forward in the country's effort to modernize its armed forces while relying on a mixture of indigenous solutions and selective foreign acquisitions. By mounting the Soviet-era D-2152 mm howitzer on the modern Kamez-E-6568 by 8 truck chassis, Vietnam has created a hybrid system that blends proven firepower with improved mobility, protection, and survivability. The debut of the PTH-152 highlights not only Vietnam's growing defense industrial ambitions but also its pragmatic approach to balancing cost-effectiveness with battlefield requirements. The PTH-152 stands out as a distinctly make-in-Vietnam platform intended to serve as a versatile artillery asset in support of infantry and armored units. Unlike towed howitzers, which are vulnerable to counter-battery fire and limited in tactical mobility, the new vehicle-based design provides the ability to reposition rapidly, establish firing positions within minutes, and disengage quickly after shooting. This shoot-and-scoot capability addresses one of the most pressing challenges for artillery forces in modern warfare, where long-range surveillance systems, counter-battery radars, and unmanned aerial reconnaissance constantly threaten stationary batteries. For a country like Vietnam, which has a long history of adapting imported military technology to local needs, the PTH-152 demonstrates a maturing capacity to integrate legacy weaponry into a modern operational framework. At the heart of the system is the M1955 D-20. A 152mm howitzer that was originally designed in the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Though it is considered outdated compared to modern 155mm NATO standard artillery, the D-20 still offers reliable firepower with a range of up to 17 km using conventional shells and approximately 24 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. This ballistic performance, while modest compared to advanced systems like the K-9 Thunder or Caesar, remains sufficient for many tactical situations. By retaining the D-20, Vietnam ensures compatibility with large existing ammunition stockpiles while avoiding the costs associated with fully replacing its artillery arsenal. Mounted on the Cam AZ truck chassis, the gun benefits from a rotating mount and hydraulic stabilizers that allow for accurate firing without requiring extensive field preparation, representing a significant upgrade over the towed version. Crew protection and survivability are central features of the new design. The PTH-152 incorporates an armored cabin built to Stanag 4569 standards, ensuring that its five, to six-person crew is shielded from small arms fire and artillery fragments. The cabin is also fitted with a remote weapon station carrying a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, enabling the crew to defend against close-range threats without exposing themselves. Smoke grenade launchers provide 360-degree concealment, while an array of four laser warning receivers gives early detection of hostile targeting systems, particularly aerial threats such as drones or precision-guided munitions. These defensive measures suggest that Vietnam has designed the system not only for offensive fire support but also with the expectation of operating in contested environments where survivability is crucial. Mobility is another defining advantage of the PTH-152. With a combat weight under 34 tons, the 8x8-wheeled platform is far lighter and more road-mobile than tracked self-propelled howitzers, enabling it to travel quickly across Vietnam's varied terrain. Reports indicate that while official figures list a minimum speed of 20 km per hour, the truck is capable of reaching up to 70 km per hour on roads. This allows the artillery system to keep pace with mechanized forces, redeploy rapidly between firing missions, and operate effectively in both rural and urban theaters. The decision to use a truck chassis rather than a tracked platform reflects a conscious trade-off, 
while wheeled vehicles offer less cross-country capability, they are cheaper to maintain, more fuel-efficient, and well-suited to Vietnam's infrastructure. In terms of firepower, the PTH-152 achieves a rate of fire of at least 4 rounds per minute. Its gun-laying system offers automatic control over elevation and azimuth, with an accuracy of 0.06 degrees. Although ammunition handling remains largely manual, limiting sustained fire rates compared to fully automated Western designs, the inclusion of digital fire control technology marks a major step forward for Vietnam's artillery forces. This system improves accuracy, shortens response times, and allows for more effective integration with reconnaissance and targeting networks. In an era where precision and speed define artillery effectiveness, the addition of such a capability underscores the modernization intent behind the program. The PTH-152 is not an isolated development but rather part of a broader trend within Vietnam's armed forces. For decades, the country has experimented with truck-mounted artillery, beginning with improvised conversions during the 1980s and 1990s, when towed guns were mounted on vehicles such as the GAZ-63. These early prototypes were limited in capability, often requiring significant modifications and lacking standardized production. More recently, Vietnam introduced the PTH-105, which adapted the American M101 howitzer, and the PTH-130, which mounted the Soviet M46 on a KRAZ chassis. Each project represented incremental progress, and the PTH-152 can be seen as the culmination of these efforts, incorporating modern protection, electronic warfare systems, and communications that its predecessors lacked. The timing of the PTH-152's introduction is also significant. It comes shortly after Vietnam established a new artillery missile command in August 2025, tasked with reorganizing and modernizing the nation's artillery branch. This organizational shift suggests that the PTH-152 will play a central role in shaping Vietnam's future artillery doctrine. Initial inspections and evaluations have already been completed, with trial firing expected to follow. According to Senior Lieutenant General Pham Hoi Nam, Deputy Minister of National Defense, the goal is to accelerate production of an initial batch, conduct unit-level testing, and eventually consider mass production once approved by the Ministry's Evaluation Council. Such a process indicates that Vietnam is not merely experimenting but intends to field the system in significant numbers. What makes the PTH-152 particularly noteworthy is its place within a dual-track modernization strategy. On one hand, Vietnam is procuring advanced foreign systems such as the South Korean K-9 Thunder, which offers far greater range and automation. On the other hand, the country is developing indigenous platforms like the PTH-152 to maintain operational flexibility, reduce dependence on imports, and maximize the use of existing resources. This approach mirrors strategies seen in other countries, such as Serbia's evolution of the Nora series, which also began by adapting the D-20 before transitioning to export-oriented 155mm designs. For Vietnam, this balance ensures that while cutting-edge capabilities are acquired abroad, local industry continues to advance and contribute directly to the country's defense needs. The ultimate relevance of the PTH-152 will depend on its integration into the wider battlefield environment. As modern warfare increasingly relies on network systems, the howitzer's ability to connect with counter-battery radars, unmanned aerial vehicles, and digital command and control networks will determine its operational value. While its 152mm caliber limits range compared to NATO standard 155mm systems, the improvements in mobility, protection, and electronic systems represent a major leap over towed artillery. The system is likely to serve as a transitional capability, bridging the gap between Vietnam's legacy artillery and its emerging inventory of modern self-propelled guns.
In broader terms, the PTH-152 illustrates Vietnam's pragmatic approach to defense modernization. Rather than abandoning older weapons entirely, the country has chosen to extend their service life through adaptation, while simultaneously acquiring next-generation systems. This ensures a balanced force structure that is both cost-effective and combat-ready. The introduction of the PTH-152 demonstrates not only technical progress but also a growing confidence in the domestic defense industry's ability to deliver sophisticated products. As such, it stands as both a symbol of continuity with Vietnam's military past and a step toward a more modern, flexible, and survivable artillery force.